There we go, you just uh, paid the man. Not a bad place. No surprises today, there is Onkas Hot. Do the old temperature check. Ah, 28. Well, I'm guessing it's only going to go one way from there. So fuel, water, money, and then uh, follow the red line. So I need to stop and get some water. Mazuki. Okay. Where's he at? He's going left. Ah, oh, we miss you. Come here. Ah, oh, merci. Au revoir. All right, have water. Have water, we'll travel. It's gonna stick it on the back. Going nowhere. That's good. Forty-three. He's coming. The guy is coming. So. Uh, Put my way around and uh, just, um, I think I'm really excited about this bit. More sand. Uh, so, this is the um, crater that features on the cover of Chris Scott's Overland Morocco book. And um, it is classic villain's lair that's uh, featured in one of the James Bond films, can't remember which one. I'm uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing it first hand. Look at that, it's special.
So a lovely chat with uh, Ali, who uh, was very kind enough to take photos. Yeah, spectacular. Not quite how I expected, because uh, the film, of course, very different. But hey, experience. I wanted to tick off the list. I've, as I say, I wanted to come here for a while, so not disappointed at all. Place to myself. Apart from obviously the uh, little tour guide, and yeah, there's the famous sort of gate. Yeah, good. Enjoyed that. So on to uh, on to the next. if I can get to it. It's a little bit beast, but... Shade is shade. Sandwiches. <laughs> it's literally trees. There's a couple, and another one there. Anyway, this one will do. Jam sandwich from this morning. It's a very thorny bush. I don't want a, a thorn up my chuff.
So lunch over, let's uh, head off. And uh, just appear, uh, occurred to me, uh, parked next to that, I was, as, as I was admiring the wonderful thorns on that bush that obviously they only parked too close. The, play havoc with your pneumatics. Look at that Erg uh, Chevy. Colours, the orange against the, um, the grey and the blue, just stunning. Pick a line, any line, let's try this one. The sand. something. And there is water in front of it. That's not a mirage, it's water. I know it is. Everyone says it's your eyes playing tricks, but I know different. Uh, I can see camels. running at me this time to change so heading towards some kind of camp but look at those dunes my goodness that's what's pretty decent of them to put the uh, gravel in it's through there nearly caught me out caught in one of those uh, dust devils earlier on. It took me off the track. And uh, there was sand down my back, which I'm not very happy about. That pretty picture, I think. Oh, more camels. Okay. touristy around here obviously because of the dunes there are a few waiting for the next ride I guess okay there's my red line telling me to go uh, I think I think there's a guy up there in a truck four-wheel drive it'll be a cruiser a land cruiser with lots of lettering on the back I don't know. It'll be a 4x4, 24 valve voodoo thing, I don't know. I think lots of lettering means lots more things. Preferably air conditioning. So it's going to be one. Okay, the camel's crossing. Don't put it your throttle. for the day. And, uh, I booked uh, the Camel Hotel nonetheless for tonight. I uh, thought it sounded quite appropriate. hope that doesn't mean I'm sleeping with a camel. Perfect end to the day I'd say. Okay I've arrived at the Camel Hotel. It has a roof that's good. Uh, so he wants me to park the bike. I said, do you want to park in the garage? He said, no, he said, 
foot down, what's all that about? He said, late in the day. He said, um, yeah, no pocket in the house. Okay, so we're going in the house. So that. Yeah, it just fits. I'll wake everybody up in the morning, but, you know. Do what I'm told. There you go. Look at that. And so to bed. at it for a bit and then think about picking it up 